1986, I graduated from Indiana University. I was a telecommunications major with a theater minor. I wanted to direct TV commercials for a living and I thought this was the perfect combination. But a little secret, I really also thought at the time that maybe I should get a business minor. It might be more practical, but to be a business minor, I would have to take accounting. And candidly, I knew myself well enough to know that that would bring academic and emotional disaster. I simply was not, and am still not, good with financial information. So apparently that makes me the perfect choice to help church leaders think about how to communicate financial information to their congregation. After all, many of you and many of the people in your congregations are not experts in finances either. So here are my top five thoughts. Number one, when it comes to communicating financial information to your church, turn to experts for the data, but ask them over and over again to boil the data down into meaning, something that's meaningful, and keep asking them until you understand the meaning. If they use accounting terms to explain other accounting terms, ask them for more simple language. Number two, craft mass messaging for non-financial people. Your sermons, printed reports, slides, all of that stuff should be crafted to clearly communicate to people who don't know a P&L from a PB&J. Number three, provide additional detail elsewhere for the financial types. Give the accountants in the room an appendix, uh, additional piece of printed information or a place online for more detail. Number four, after you present the information and you ask your audience, any questions, any questions, and you don't get any, don't assume that people don't have any questions. They really just don't wanna look stupid. Who does? Provide a safe and private way for people to ask questions or give them FAQs online. And for your audience, make this information actionable. With this data, we want you to blank. If you don't have an action for them, then I'm not sure what's the use of sharing the information. The action could be something as simple as pray for our leaders as they meet each month and lead the church, including the financial stewardship of our church. Want to explore more on this topic? A couple of years ago, Bruce Smith, executive pastor of operations at College Park Church in Indianapolis, delivered a crystal clear and meaningful message to his church family about the financial picture of College Park. And he wrote a blog post about his planning. Now, I'm not sure what Bruce majored in back in college, but it's a really good blog post, and he offers advice that you may want to incorporate into your financial communications.